Tad Pfeffer, a uh, glaciologist, he's a geophysicist who studies glaciers, snow, and ice. right up against uh, North and South Arapaho Peak. There's a ridge connecting those two summits and the Arapaho Glacier is right up in that uh, pass between the two of them. I work for the City of Boulder and my job title is the Water Resources Facilities Manager. I've been in the position for 26 years. In 2002, we melted a lot of ice off of that glacier. It was really unusual. Basically, we had very little precipitation that winter and a lot of heat in the summertime, and it really did take a lot of mass away from the glacier. We quite a bit of ice. So, what do you know about the glacier? I don't. About the Arapaho Glacier? Nothing. Did you know that it's melting super fast either every year? No. Did you know that it's right in Netherlands' backyard? Right in what? Netherlands backyard. Oh really? Yes. That's pretty cool. Did not. What do you know about the Arapaho Glacier? That it's nearby and that's it. You know it's right in Netherlands backyard. I didn't. Nevea, did you know that there's such thing as an Arapaho Glacier? Yeah. Oh, you know that it was really big yes. in the turn of the century. I've seen photos. It's pretty exciting yeah. of how big it used to be, and now that it's sort of been um, no longer called a glacier, but a snowfield. Pay attention to the science and not the politics. I think that it's really sad because it's such a beautiful glacier. So I think it's really sad that this may be the last generation to see the Arapaho, Arapaho Glacier. It's, it's shocking. Environmental changes are shocking. <laughs>